Good. Good morning, everyone. And God bless you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. What is this morning? Good morning, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Commanding Your Day with your favorite woman of God. I'm glad to be with us this morning. Hallelujah. Good morning, prophetic ministry. God bless you. Welcome to Commanding Your Day. Kindly share and God bless you as you do that. Share everybody as you're coming in. Share, share, share and tell somebody that we are live on Commanding Your Day. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome everybody this morning to Commanding Your Day with your favorite woman of God. This is Prophetess Jerusha. Together with us on Commanding Your Day. Share and tell somebody that we are live before the Lord this morning. Let me know where you're watching from. Amen, 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 amen. Wake somebody up. We are before the Lord. We are before the Lord. We are before the Lord. This is a day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is a day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So share and tell somebody that we are alive. We give you praise, Jesus. So kala rada bashata ya mama ya. Blessings and glory and honor and praise be ascribed unto the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Share and tell somebody that we are before God this morning. On commanding your day, we are before the Lord this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. 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 We adore you, Jesus. <clears throat> Share and tell someone that we are live. Share and tell somebody that we are live. Father, we thank you. We adore your name. We magnify you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Fortunella, good morning. Good morning. Share and tell somebody that we are alive. Share and tell someone that we are alive this morning, appearing before the King. Thank you, Lord. Blessings and glory and honor and power and praise be ascribed unto the King this morning. That it is with great joy that we appear before him as a privilege he has granted us that we don't take for granted. Thank you, ancients of days, because you are the God that rules supreme above every other gods. Bigger, bigger than the biggest and mightier than the mightiest. We stand in awe and in reference to the God who reigns supreme. Hail Jesus as King. Hail Jesus as King. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for one more day. Thank you, oh God, for such an amazing opportunity. Thank you, oh God. Even for that person who is ending their day to begin another day, day, we thank you. We thank you for all that has happened. We just give you glory. 
Our hearts are full of joy and gratitude this morning. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We, we love you. We love you. We are here this morning to say we love you. We love you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for the battles you fight on our behalf. Thank you, Lord. We lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. Blessed be the Lamb of glory. Thank you, King of kings and Lord of lords. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. You are God and there is no one like you. Thank you, Father, for everyone before you this morning and for the joy of appearing before you this morning. You are God and you are good. Blessed be your name in Jesus' mighty name. I ask, Lord, that you're going to bless somebody this morning. I pray, oh God, that by this divine encounter, somebody's life is changing this morning, is changing today. Let a word from heaven bring about a turnaround in the destiny of somebody. Let today mark a transition. Let today be that day of divine visitation for somebody. In the mighty name of Jesus, let, let grace abound this morning over somebody. Let favor find someone. As we share your word, I ask that our raiments be changed, our countenance be changed, that we be transformed by the grace and by the glory of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we silence every other voice, casting down every other imagination and every thought that exalts his name above the name of the Lord. Father, be thou glorified this morning in Jesus' mighty name that we have prayed. Amen. Welcome, Fortunella. Welcome, Asamban Pedicta. Welcome, Sepio Beatrice. Welcome, Fortunella. Welcome, Beckley Atabong. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome to this wonderful moment with God on commanding your day. And this morning, I'll be prophesying to us from the word of God. Let every man be a liar and let his word be true. I'll be prophesying this morning. <laughs> Prophetic minstrel is already saying an assignment. <laughs> oh yes, for those of you at Zion family. <laughs> it was a great time yesterday in the presence of the Lord. <laughs> Prophetic minstrel, is that a way to say you were blessed last night? Oh, John Favor, welcome. Welcome, Damaris. Uh, is that a way to say you were Okay, let's go ahead. How was, how was yesterday night? Those of you that were in church, how was yesterday night? Let's talk about it. Somebody wants us to really talk about it. Of course, it was, it was too awesome to not talk about it. So in the next few seconds before we dive and dwell into the word of the Lord, Mkenze Jack, Jack, Jacqueline, you're welcome and God bless you. Before we access God's word this morning, <laughs> uh, prophetic mission says, I haven't recovered from that word. Okay, very quickly in one line, all of you that are connected right now, talk to me about your yesterday service experience. What was your experience yesterday? What was your experience yesterday? Very quickly in one line, just in one line. Just in one line, what was your experience? How did you how did you experience God yesterday? Prophetic minister says she hasn't recovered. Uh, Helen says, Mother, the right uh, the night felt like Jesus is coming this weekend. Of course, Helen, we should live every day ready for the coming of Christ. Okay, okay, wonderful remarks there. Let me let me know how you felt God yesterday. Damaris says, I have been transformed completely, completely, completely. No more sleep, no more slumber. No sleep to thy eyes, no slumber to thy eyelids. Go to the auntie, slogat, consider her ways and be wise. Give no sleep to thy eyes, no slumber to thy eyelids. Go to the auntie, slogat, consider her ways and be wise. No sleep, assignment time. Who was saying something there? How did you, what was your experience? Fortunella, is she there? Yesterday was Fortunella's birthday. Fortunella, happy birthday to Fortunella. Fortunella is one of the amazing people here who would share a dot, even a dot when I'm live. When I'm live, anywhere I'm live in this world, one person I know is going to share 
and and tell everybody that i'm live is sister fortunella happy birthday sister fortunella and i pray that you will increase in grace you will increase in glory you will increase in strength you will increase in every area of your life. The blessings of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit rest on you. May you be enlarged on every side. May the glory of God fill your life like waters cover the sea. In the mighty name of Jesus. Prophetic ministry says, what a word. Or John Favor says, yesterday made me to understand the difference between routines and impact. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's an amazing point. Favor says, last night made her to be able to understand the true difference between routines and impact very correct until the, there is an outcome until the result until you monitor for feedback until feedback not just feedback until your feedback is satisfactory and progressive there is no 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 assignment going on and certainly there's no impact oh yes oh yes oh yes oh yes very very correct uh, or John Favor says one word. Who else is saying something? What was your yesterday? Very quickly, very quickly, very quickly. And for those of you who probably are uh, distant and you were not in church yesterday, you can always get to our media team, um, Pastor Damaris, and other people can always help you to have those messages from any part of the world. You can have those messages are messages on wednesdays and sundays and every time we gather are always available let's hear uh how was predicta is predicta here predicta how was the service yesterday night predicta how was service yesterday night uh mildred penn says yesterday felt like a revival conference hallelujah <laughs> She says, yesterday felt like a revival conference. Yes, the fire of revival, the fire your assignments rekindled, and it will never go down in the mighty name of Jesus. Your fire will burn. You will finish well in Jesus' mighty name. Who else? Tell us something in one line. How was yesterday night encounter? Prophetic ministry says, you, you are not fulfilling assignment until feedback tells you you're fulfilling assignment. In other words, you are assignment is a combination of what you do and desire to see in the lives of the people very very correct very very correct very very demure <laughs> very cute <laughs> praise god <laughs> is it demure demure come on Luna, leave me please go ahead go ahead how was yesterday where is predicta predicta i won't believe that the lord spoke specifically to predicta yesterday predicta god spoke specifically to you yesterday like like pew like predictor god mentioned your name in one way or the other predictor i'm so i'm so at peace in my heart because almost every service god has a word for you and one thing i like about predictor is the way she responds to the word of god I love the joy, the, the, the joy, I mean, the joy with which you receive the word predictor, it's out of this world. Prophet it means so when you are consumed in your assignment, it curbs your desire for carnal things. <laughs> yeah, all of this feeling cold, chilly. If When your assignment consumes you, there are things you do remember. Pedica says, yesterday was an eye-opener about my assignment. Oh, yes. Fortunella Cecile says, yes. Ah, about yesterday, mm, the words were so, something else. The word was life transforming. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. Awesome. 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 There is a word you hear in your spirit and you never forget. I can assure you, those of you that were in church yesterday, I can assure you, I can assure you with double assurance <laughs> that the word you heard yesterday, it will never, it will never. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, there's a way you turn on your bed like that and then a word keeps echoing. You turn like this. It will never depart from your life never i mean never hello bradasha never because i'm not just a preacher i'm a prophet i'm a i'm a i'm an oracle of god there are voices you hear <laughs> come on they never leave you you live with them all through your life you live with them all through your life when people say they're hearing voices 
You never, you, you don't know. It's not just those other funny voices from their grandmothers and grandfathers. Mm -mm. There is a voice that speaks to you, and it echoes. It echoes in, into every part of your body, and you will never forget. You will never. Ten years down the line, you see that message last night. You will never forget it. Twenty years, fifty years. You, I can assure you, you would never forget it. Share the life and tell somebody that we are alive. And in the next, how many minutes? In the next uh, 20 minutes or 30 minutes, we are going to be adding to what God told us last night. We're going to be adding to what God told us last night. I want to prophesy to somebody from um, Jerem, is it Jeremiah or it's Isaiah? Okay, I'm prophesying to somebody from Isaiah 62. Isaiah 62. I also have not had rest since about 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. I've not had rest, you know. And God kept sending me to come live and minister to somebody. Mm. You shall no longer, take note of those words, please. I'm prophesying from Isaiah 62. You shall no longer be termed forsaken. Listen very well. Put your name there. You, Jerusha, shall no longer be termed forsaken. As a matter of fact, I like it from, from verse 3. Some of you who are very close to me would have heard me so addicted to verse 3 isaiah 62 some of you might know i'm so married to verse 3 i'm so addicted it says you shall also be a royal crown a crown of glory you shall also also you shall also mm. now i like the expression looks there this then now the word also there looks like somebody who was being exempted from something, somebody that everything had been allotted a portion to every other person. Portions allotted to people and then probably yours was not given. And then God includes you. Now this, this three and four, it's like an inclusion plan that sets you at the top. You know when they've when portions are loaded to people and nothing was given to you and then God steps in and he doesn't just give you but he sets you right up there. He sets you on top. He sets you on top. He sets you on top. I like verse 3. He says you shall no longer be. He says Jerusalem you shall you shall be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord and a royal day them in the hand of your God. Listen to verse 4 which is our focus for this morning. Welcome Amanda Nicole. God bless you. Verse 4 says you shall no longer be termed forsaken nor shall your land anymore be termed desolate but you shall be called Hebziba and your land Biola for the Lord delight in you and your land shall be married hey <laughs> five it says for as a young man marries a virgin so shall your sons marry you and as a bridegroom rejoice over the bride so shall your God rejoice over you an assurance word a word a prophetic word of assurance to somebody this morning somebody who is feeling rejected because probably since january you haven't been able to achieve anything or probably you've laid your hand on one or two things and they did not really give you the, the results that you expected and so you're me feeling mentally drained you're feeling psychologically unstable you're feeling really low you feel forgotten you, you feel left behind the lord sent me this morning to you to say that you are in his inclusion plan not just inclusion plan for what he's about to do this season but he's setting you right at the top right at the top right at the top come on is the word too good for you to believe i want you to shout a big amen I want you to shout an amen of hope. I want you to shout an amen of hope. I want you to shout an amen of hope and joy this morning. It says you shall no longer be termed forsaken. I'll be dwelling on that line a long time. You shall no longer be termed forsaken. You shall no longer. Names have power. Names have impact. Names have. You shall no longer. And sometimes your name can be the repeated occurrence of a negative event in your life it just automatically changes your name remember the woman with the issue of blood the woman with the issue of blood the woman with the issue of blood it just changes everything something stigmatizing you that there there, there are situations that have stigmatized people and given them particular names i came this morning came this morning to say in this season 
three months to the end of the year in this season as you believe god is changing a record god is changing a record god is changing a record god is changing something about you god oh my daughter from norway she left us just a few minutes ago for school or john Kongo grace my oak i'm excited to have you here this morning and never miss a session because these are sessions that keep you connected welcome burial burial heavens at desa welcome everybody welcome everybody god says you shall no longer be term forsaken you shall no longer be term forsaken you shall no longer forsaken something left means something left something abandoned something that every good thing has happened to ever every person except you left behind you shall no longer that is the word of the lord for you in business and career in whatever you are pursuing right now you shall no longer be termed forsaken they will not look at you and the first thing that comes to their mind is look at that one see how messy her life has become they will not look at you and the only thing that comes to their mind is where they will not look at you and all that comes to their mind is some kind of sympathy god is changing that this morning god is changing that yes be real you will no longer be termed forsaken god is changing that record about you god is changing it this morning by his word by this prophet Prophetic account. No more rejection. No more denial of opportunities. I'm prophesying to somebody from the world this morning. No more denial of opportunities. No more denial. I, I want to prophesy to somebody. You will no longer be denied opportunities. The Lord says you shall no longer be termed forsaken. You shall not. You were watching me right now, and that has been your story. That has been your story in career, in destiny, in ministry. That has been your story. God is changing it this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. God is changing that report. Whose report do you believe? Of course, you believe in the report of the Lord. And by a prophet, Israel was taken out of Egypt into to the promised land. I'm up this morning to prophesy to you that everything is changing. Everything is changing about you by your appearance before the Lord. The Bible says, as we appear, we behold as in a mirror. And as we begin to behold him, we begin to get transformed, becoming more like him in achievement, in grace, in abundance, and in dominion, in increase, in every dimension. We're becoming more. We're becoming more like him. We are becoming more like him. Somebody watching me, you're no longer more like your grandmother that didn't succeed. You're no longer more like your grandfather. This is not a function of your biological DNA. This is a function of your spiritual DNA. You are becoming more like him. You are becoming more like Jesus. See that in heavenly places with Christ Jesus, find both principalities and powers. Join hands with him. You're waking up to the realization of your authority. You are waking up to the realization of your capacity power inherent he says now unto him that is able to do exceedingly above much more than you could think or imagine according to the power at work within you power inherent power locked up within you is manifesting this season you will no longer be called desolate come on come on come on come on say no more no more forsaken no more termed desolate you will no longer be termed desolate means abandoned abandoned by family i'm speaking to somebody you're feeling abandoned by family you're feeling abandoned by friends maybe by reason of the disparities in, of, of the, the disparities in achievement maybe because by reason of the differences in the measures of achievement friends have abandoned you've been left behind and every time you come around them they say ah oh, look at that one who has no child look at that one that is not even married look at that one that has no car look at that one that has no house look at that one that has nothing in her bank account god is tearing off those garments off you this morning Go Rama Mashanda. They called you the names until unconsciously you started looking like those names. They have called you those names.
Oh, Yanama Shamama. They have called you those names and you felt like those names and unconsciously you started looking like it. This morning, I bring you a prophetic word that also brings you deliverance. You, I, I'm stripping you off those garments of reproach. Shakada Boshana Mahanta. Rikanama Sundala Babaya. Rekondo Boshekeri Mamama. I'm stripping you off those garments by the word of the Lord this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Rabba Babo Shanda Baba, I strip you of those garments of desolation. I strip you off. I strip you of those garments of desolation. By the word of the Lord this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, those garments of poverty, those garments of rejection, those garments of reproach, those oh Rabba Babo Shaya Baba. The Lord is taking them up this morning. Tap and share. Tap and share. Even for one minute, I need somebody to hear these bullets, these nuggets, this thunderstorm words from my mouth. I want somebody to tap and share in the name of Jesus. As, as I speak, deliverance is going on right now. You shall no longer be termed forsaken. You shall no longer be termed desolate. No, 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 no. God is changing it this morning. God is changing it this morning. God is changing it this morning. Let me tell you something. Every time people call you a thing and you don't revert it. Every time people call you a thing. And probably there's a part of you that's saying, but where is the truth they're saying? Every time you are called a negative thing and you don't revert it, you automatically wait. The consistency of that appellation soon establishes that garment on you. It soon establishes that on you as a garment. And you're just doing what? Well. Listen, this is not time for pity party. This is not time to feel sorry for yourself. We are in a season of Christianity where I dare to say it's a bass boss. Anybody calls you a negative name, revert it right to their face and tell them it's not you, it's them and their grandchildren. It's them and their children. You didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. Names have power. Names, the, 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 listen, listen. What people use, appellations, appellations, okay? Appellations, how people refer to you would either mean something to you based on how you revert it or accept it. Tell them I'm not forsaken any longer. Tell them don't pity me, I'm doing just fine. Listen, some people may not even be telling you. They just look at you and they're like, where? When shall they happen for you? I don't know if you have been through seasons like that. Where no, no, somebody's not really saying they pity you, but they're looking at you. Oh, we can't wait. It's going to happen for you. Tell them I'm doing fine. I carry his glory on me. Tell them I'm doing great. Don't look at me with that those pitiful eyes. Don't, don't look at me. Oh, I'm not an object of pity. I am a royal datum in the hand of the Lord. I'm not an object of pity. I am a royal datum. You didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. La kabashada baba ya kabashanama. I am a crown of glory. Hey, in the hand of the Lord. I am a royal datum in the hand of the king. Malabasha baba. That is your story from now on. That is your story from now on. That is your story from now on. God is changing it for you. As you are getting ready to step out this morning, I want you to wear that on, okay? Stop wearing self-pity. Stop wearing self-pity. I am not, tell yourself, I am not rejected. I am loved. I am loved. I've seen people walk around and say, they don't say it hit me. They don't, don't, they don't like me. They don't like nah, me. Nah, nah. I'm loved. <laughs> you didn't hear me. I'm loved. I'm the one the nations are waiting for. Creation. You didn't get it. Creation is waiting in earnest expectation for my manifestation. So I'm most loved. I'm most cherished. I don't know about you, but that's what you should be telling yourself. That's what you should be telling yourself because God is saying, I should tell you this morning, you shall no longer be termed forsaken. You shall no longer be termed forsaken. You shall no longer be termed desolate, abandoned. You shall no longer be termed forsaken. Hear the word of the Lord. You shall no longer be termed abandoned. The Lord says from now, this very moment, as you are hearing those words coming out of my mouth, 
You have become a nation that is sought after. You have become a nation. Be yeah, begin to make those declarations. As I'm speaking forth, yeah, begin to say them to yourself. Don't just think them in your head. Open your mouth and confess them. I pray for somebody who is battling with rejection right now. And I declare that as you're stepping out today, you will, you, you, those garments are torn off you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for somebody who is suffering from rejection who is suffering from rejection you will no longer be rejected your business will no longer be rejected your ministry will no longer be i prophesy acceptance for you as you get ready to step out today i prophesy acceptance you will be accepted at every level you will be accepted at every level your ministry will be accepted Oh, your gift will be accepted. Your gift will be accepted. You shall no longer be called forsaken. You shall no longer be termed desolate. Your gift will be accepted. Even your aura, your, your countenance, you will be accepted everywhere. Oh, Rika You will be accepted. The money world will accept you. The money wealth will accept the money world. The money world will accept you. You will no longer be rejected. You will no longer live in misery and shame. I prophesy to you as a servant of the Lord. You are rising from glory to glory. Hallelujah. You are rising from glory to glory. And for those of you at Zion family who were in the church yesterday and you listened to the teaching, your assignment will no longer be denied. Your assignment will no longer be denied. You will no longer be denied. You will no longer be termed forsaken. In the mighty name of Jesus, no more shame, no more reproach, no more disappointment, no more shame, no more reproach. No, from now on, the way God will work with you, come on, many will come and ask you your secret. From now on, the way God will do things for you, Malaba Sataya Baba. Come on, write it out. I am the one the world is waiting for. I am the one the world is waiting for. My gift is the one the world is waiting for. My ministry is the one that the world is waiting for. Oh, come on, somebody. I am the woman of God the world is waiting for. Kalabashada Baba Baya. Go ahead and prophesy. Go ahead and prophesy. Go ahead and prophesy. Go ahead and prophesy. Later, Baba Shaba Baba. As you are tapping and sharing, begin to prophesy to yourself. I will no longer be denied. I have acceptance. Oh, Open your mouth and make these declarations and prophesy. I will no longer be denied. I have acceptance. I have access. I am loved. I am cherished. Mm. My voice will not be denied. My voice will not. Oh, it will come to pass that I'm the voice people will desire to hear everywhere around the world. Open your mouth and make that declaration. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. Begin to prophesy over those things that brought you depression begin to speak over those things that made you feel even inferior prophesy in that area and say when it comes to this area that makes me cry i am the one the world is waiting for when it comes to this area that makes me feel like i have a vacuum i am the one the world is waiting for in the name of jesus i declare it is done for you thank you holy spirit i declare in the name of jesus that the entrance into this world has established somebody in newness of spirit today. You're stepping out today in grace and power. You're stepping out today in might. You're stepping out today in favor. That in anything that you do, you'll be accepted and received in an extraordinary way. In the name of Jesus, wherever your gift will be presented, wherever your talent will be presented, wherever your career will be presented, wherever your curriculum vitae will be presented, wherever, wherever your documents will be presented, I prophesy to you this morning that you will be accepted. 
We are uh, And as I prophesy, I create rooms for you in the realms of the spirit. Places where you will fit in, in the name of Jesus. You will not be left behind. You will not be left behind. Manana mashanda baha. Lika basantaya baba woshia. Lekuna nama sinde mahantaya. Raba babo shinene mahanta. Even in this end time move of the Lord, you will not be left behind. Le raba yakana mashanda. The Lord will work signs and wonders through you. The Lord will work signs and wonders through you. When it comes to wealth, affluence, and increase, you will not be left behind. You will not be forsaken. You will not be desolate any longer. In the name of Jesus. Can I tell you why these things I'm saying are going to happen to you? Because there's a lot you have survived already. There is a lot you have survived already. That is every indication that God means business with you. I bless you today. I bless you today. I bless you today. I bless you today and I declare you are emerging the best CEO not long from now. I bless you today and I declare in the world of academics you are emerging. I bless you today and I declare as touching everything, as concerning every sphere, you are emerging. I bless you today, no longer forsaken, no longer termed desolate. Some things you used to hear happen to people and you marvel and wonder how it happened. The Lord said they begin to happen to you from this very moment because all he needed from you was a mental alignment. And now that you know that you're a royal day them, nothing shall be withheld from you that you have ever desired. I repeat, now that you know that you're a royal day them and you're a crown in the hand of the king, nothing will be withheld from you that you heartily desire. I declare it is well with you. It is well with your children. It is well with your husband. It is well. It is well with your protege. It is well with your mentee. It is well with your children and the Lord. It is well with you all round today. Somebody's dropping a prayer point here. It says, um, please uh, agree in prayer for a court battle to be won in favor of a little child that that has abused her. In the name of Jesus, for anybody dealing with a court issue right now, I declare in Jesus' name that the victory of the Lord, that the victory of the Lord will prevail. I pray, and I'm, I'm for, I pray for a court case, for anybody with a court case, anybody with a court case, to contact anybody to face the court today, to face the court in the next few hours, to face the court not long from now, I declare in the name of Jesus that you will emerge a winner, that you will emerge the favor of the Lord will beautify you. Mashara Baba Yata Baba. Bible says you shall be delivered before councils, but do not be in a rush on what to say, for I the Lord will speak through you. I declare that as you go to court, the Lord is seizing your lips. He is speaking through you he is speaking through you may help arise for you from the desks in court in the name of jesus may there arise strength help for you people to speak for you speak in favor of you and to speak may lord change the verdict anything that was working against you by his mercy and by his favor this morning i declare it's reverted it's corrected it's readjusted to your favor in the mighty name of jesus Le kunda balia taleta, le kuria mama shanda ya, le kuda baria baba sataya, le kede baba 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 baba. I pray now in the spirit for somebody who came here so burdened. La nina nu sania mayata, le kende barina nu sania, en nene mo saria mahinde, le kuna nia Maria dadea, le kune ne masanda nanaya, la kusalia nahinde, le kadina sadea, bakona. Satia Makande, Lekuna Sandia Baria, 
Lekuna na masakea da hai. To somebody I say the barrier is broken. Leku shadia bahai. To somebody I declare that you are healed of that disease. Ne sokono monomo. In the name of Jesus. Leha da barrier mamahadi. To somebody I say that need is met urgently by the Lord today. Nihansa kanto lobo shadia. That in the next six hours. That in the next 24 hours. God is showing up for somebody urgently. Nehakula bra ikania. I present your case to heaven this morning as an emergency. Le adaba kina no sabia. La kuna na kania mama. Le kusali baru ananaya. And he make at his angels ministering spirit. And then his servants flames of fire. Barika nina sakainde. Le kumama antabashada. Le kubarakia no no. As a fire goes forth from my mouth over your situation. I deploy angels begin to minister to you right now. Meeting you at the point of your need. La hasana matoyata. Le kunana yahada. Le kubaria kadashia. Le kunomo simana maya. Le kunama shamama. Life opens for you today. Le kabara baba yatata. Le kumama mashamama. Because you have appeared before the Lord. Life opens for you today. Le kababa la kabababa. Swim into opportunities. Swim into breakthroughs. Swim into opportunities. Le kanana mashamama. Le hede bobo sida bababa. Let something strange happen to you as a sign that you appeared before the Lord. Something strange, something unusual. La brakusalea. And something positive happened to you as a sign that you appeared before the Lord this morning. It is done. It is done. The seeker healed. It is done. It is done for you. It is done for you. It is done for you. It's done for you. It is done for you. The Lord is leading me to pray for healing for a small child. A child that is sick, I declare you healed. Whether you're represented here this morning by your parent or by somebody. I see a child sick between ages three and five. I declare the healing hand of God upon this child right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, be healed, be made whole, be strengthened, be favored, beloved. I pray for promotions at your job site. I pray for recommendations for you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the Lord beautify you with his grace and glory. I prophesy to somebody, you will not end this year empty-handed. I prophesy to somebody, you will not end this year stranded. I prophesy to somebody, you will not end this year alone. I prophesy to, prophesy to somebody, you will not end this year at the level at which you are right now. For God has taken over the battle. Rejoice. God has taken over the battle. Rejoice. I just heard that in my spirit for you. God has taken over the battle. Rejoice. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. And I declare that the word in your heart is going to bear forth fruits. I, I bring peace to somebody that was sick. I declare right now in the mighty name of Jesus, just lay your hands there and I declare you healed. Somebody that came to the life sick is getting ready to be healed right now. I declare that you are healed. I declare that you are healed. Somebody that came to the life sick, you're feeling sick in any part of your body. Right now, take note of the words that are coming out of my mouth. Right now, I declare you are healed. Right now, I declare you are free. Right now, I declare you are released in the name of Jesus. Go and sin no more. You are healed. You are healed. You are made whole in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Abba, Father. Thank you, Abba, Father. Thank you for your dew that is resting on somebody.
Your testimony is getting ready to be loud. Your testimony is getting ready. That's what I hear in my spirit for somebody. Your testimony will be loud. And this is no longer long from now. It is done in Jesus' mighty name. I have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. I'm trusting the Lord to be with us tonight on healing campaign. We have healing campaign. Thursday, Friday, we have commanding the morning. For those of you who are just joining now, now we have commanding the morning every day in the early mornings from, from, from six, from six to seven. And then on Thursdays and on Fridays at 10 p.m., I'm here to pray for the sick. I'm here to pray for the oppressed. I'm here to pray for people going through different and specific challenges in life. I'm here to pray for you. So I want you to keep sharing every time that we're alive. Do well to share. Do well to tell somebody of the greatness of the Lord on this platform. Do well to tell somebody how big our God is. Do well to tell somebody of your wonderful experience with the Lord here. Do well to spread the news. We're going to be meeting by the grace of God this evening again by 10 p.m. West African time. Thursday, Friday, 10 p.m. West African time. And sometimes you come up live and probably you meet a session going on like a premiere or a repeated session. And I will still want to urge you that don't take those repeated sessions for granted. It's very, very important. Don't take those repeated sessions for granted because in them is a word for you. In them is a breakthrough for you. In them is deliverance from for you. Once has he spoken and twice have I heard that power belongs to God, which means every time God speaks, his voice is too loud, it's too deep, we need to hear and hear again. So every time that you come live, and probably it's a live replay, a session that is replayed, I want to urge you to still be very connected and go through the session. And I want to assure you, you will never and ever be the same again. This is our 10 month and a half. We have people around the world sowing into the number 10. They're sowing into you know, into 10 is the end of a season and the beginning of another. They're sowing into what God is doing this season. I pray that for those of you that are sowing, your seed is blessed and may your harvest be mighty. For those of you that are sowing into the glory of God in this house, into the power of God in this house, into the greatness of God in this house, I want to assure you the word of God is sure. Seed time and harvest time, eat remain it so even this season as you are trusting the lord and as you are faithing in you can you can you can you can be led by the lord to sowing tens okay sometimes it's always good to use prophetic numbers when you are sowing you know we don't have time i would have spoken to us about numerology sometimes it's good to use prophetic numbers when you are sowing when you're faithing in don't just do some things you can you can faith in using, I mean, using particular significant numbers and, and trust the Lord. And I want to assure you that your harvest will always be mighty. And for those of you who say, I cannot appear before the Lord empty handed. I declare all the time, like now, your offering is blessed in the name of Jesus. And wondering how you can sow, you can partner. The details are pinned in the comment section. You have their own family and then the details are there in PayPal, in Cash App, in Momo. Whichever you chose, whichever is convenient for you, don't stop giving because God loves a cheerful giver. I love you with the love of the Lord and I long to be with you again. I bless you in Jesus' mighty name. And I love you real good. And for those of you that are already sowing, I declare that your harvest will be big. I declare once more that your harvest will be so big that there will be no room to accommodate it. I love you. Fortunately, I love you. Ojong favor. I love you. I bend down. I love you. And I'm Thor. And she's Anne I'm Thor. It's asking what is mail address. Just put it there. It's a Gmail address. Put it for Ann and Thor. And I want to assure you that whatever is you're, you're, you're doing for the kingdom is going a long way. It's going a long way to glorify God and to serve the purposes of the kingdom in the name of Jesus. Just put up my, my, my Gmail there. M J we love the Gmail. Just put it there. And I'm Thor. You're gonna get it. Just get it right now in the comment section. So you can do details. You can do paper. You can do cash app. You can do mobile money for those of you who are around here. Whichever the Lord is leading you to do, please feel free to do it. Feel free to do it. 
for God loves a cheerful giver. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Damaris is putting it up for you right now. And I'm Thor. This is it. MJRuloves at gmail.com. Zion Family Ministry International, mjeriloves at gmail.com. mjeriloves at gmail.com. You can also send me your prayer request, okay? You can also send me your prayer request through that. You can also send me your, your testimonies through that. If you want mentorship, you can write me. You can send me a mail. You want me to counsel you on certain issues that are breaking your mind, you can as well send me uh, a gmail or a mail through that. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you once more. God bless your giving. God bless your love for me. And I will see you soon. Shalom, 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 shalom. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Okay, and I'm Thor. She's gotten it. God bless you. I'll be with you again. And have a blessed day. Nicole. It's been a long time, Nicole. <laughs> Happy to see you here today.